Hey guys, we are back with another video. And with the last video I made about the G1 XON, many of you commented that uh, it, it was not working on G101 systems. So today, I'm here to tell you that you can add more effects to your G101, G1 XON and personalize it on your own on what effects you want to add on your system. So yes, after you kunin yung cable nyo and yung G1XON nyo, just put it to the side and let's go to the file. So after you download the link that I have provided down below, extract the file and then open it. After you open it, uh, there will be the Zoom Effects Manager in the bottom of the list. Click on that, open it. So yeah, after you go here, just select your stomp box. I have my G1XON. Same for the others, just select your system. Then after you select your system, go here in the filters and go to effects from stomp box. Then select your your current stomp box. So for me it's the G1XON. So after you after you select your system, go here in the filters and effects from stomp box and check your system. So for me it's the G1XON. After I select the G1XON. It shows all of the effects that is available for the G1XON. And if you're a G1ON user, I will tell you a tip on how you can update your system later. So after you check this, after you select all, go here in the effects and select all. Then yeah, if you're a G1ON user, uncheck the pedal so you can be able to update your your G1ON. So for me, I have the G1ON, so I'll check that. So it added five pedal effects. So we're gonna go to the fun part. After you select all of your effects, so we are, so we are selecting all of our effects for us not to be confused on what to add because we might forget our effects that is available for our system so this will help by selecting it all then after that this is where the fun begins for me i'm gonna select the ms50g and ms70cdr because um this is the systems that i want to get my new effects from so as you can see there are new effects added and it's unchecked so we're gonna select some some new effects and add it to our system but before that if you're a B1, b1on user or base you can also add effects from the g1on xon and the uh, ms50g ms70cdr ms60 for the base when you select the systems that you want to get the effects from so if you want to get some effects from the ms60b just check it and it will appear so for me just the 70cdr and ms50g i will do it effect by effect so i won't be confused uh after you select the systems that you want to get effects from go here and select none you will be able to see nothing so where you're gonna check the effect types one by one so as you can see the effects from your system is checked but the others are not so that are the effects that is not on your system and you can select what effects you want to add so after after that you're gonna want to select all of the dynamic effects you want the filters the drives so let's go and select some so for me i'm gonna pick break comp the dirty gate the limiter the orange the orange squeezer compressor and also a m comp so as you can see here, there are descriptions that is new to this update from the Zoom Effects Manager. So that's nice. So you know what you're adding to your system. So after that, uncheck it and then select filter so you, you know what you are going to add. So you don't get confused with all of the new effects that you want. And as you can see, if you select something, sample the, this Z-tron, 
you're adding you're adding um memory to your to your flash fill so um be mindful of adding because maybe you just want to add it all it won't be added all because <laughs> there is a certain storage limit for your system so yeah so let's continue so i want to add the so i think i don't want to add anything for for filters so drive of course we're gonna add the bg throttle it's modeled after the mesa boogie throttle box then the center gold of course dynamic drive nyc fuzz i think this will <laughs> this will be the section where i will be selecting the most Xenios. Um, the Z-Gene also. The TS Drive, of course. It's another model of the... Of the Tube Screamer. From, but this is from the MS50G. Because the Tube Screamer that comes with a G10N is, I think, not that good. But the TS drive is better than the cheese cream. So that's what I have heard based from the last update that I did on my last video. So make sure to watch that also. If you don't want to do all of this stuff, just do that update. But you're missing out from the other stuff that is not there. So we're gonna add the red crunch. So yeah, and the RC boost of course. And then after that, we're gonna go to amp simulators so as you can see there are no amp simulators so it came with a 50g so let's skip the base drive the base amp so for base users you can use that or if you want to use a base in your g1on you can do it and add base effects here but for me i won't so let's go to modulation which i'm also excited about so we're gonna add the anacars so we're gonna add the anacars 234 from the MXR M234. I'm gonna add a Corona Chorus from the TZ Electronic Corona. Corona Chorus. Um, vintage CE. This is the car is modeled from the Boss CE1. After that, we're gonna add the Shimmer Chorus. The Mirage Chorus. The Dino Flanger also. Um, I think that's it for me. So for the special effects, I I think I don't want to add something from the SFX. So we're gonna go to delay. So of course, we're gonna add a smooth delay model from the Big Boss DD20 in smooth mode. The lo-fi delay, the mod delay one and two, of course. We're gonna add the analog delay also. And this dual digital delay, of course. I love this. And also, I think that is it for the delay. Oh, we're gonna add the drive echo, of course. Model from the Line 6 M2 echo. So after that, we're gonna go to reverb. Of course, I'm gonna add the ambience. The echo reverb, the echo reverb. Um, the church. Gonna, let's add the Dyna Reverb from the TC Electronic Nova Reverb. We're gonna add the Spring, of course, the Shimmer, the Lo Fi, of course, the Holy Flurb. And I think we're good. We're also um, spacing up. We're almost full for the flash fill. So, yeah, for the pedals, there will be no added pedals because there are only five pedals. So reverb, yeah. So as you can see, if I add one more, it turns red because it turns into 101%. Don't overfill it because the update might fail. So yeah, so after you selected the effect that you want to add to your system, we're gonna write the effects. So before we write the effects, we're gonna connect our G1 XON to our computer. So yeah, let's do that. And 
and let's go. What you want to do next is connect your G1 XON to your computer, but enter it in the firmware update mode. So if you don't know how to enter the firmware update mode, make sure to check my last video about the G1 XON update. Check it out on how to enter the firmware update mode on your G1 XON or even the G1ON and I think it's also the same for the B1 series. So after that, what you want to do is go here and write effects. Then after this, you go execute the update and after you execute it, it will now start updating as you can see. So don't worry, your patches will not be removed. So, but make sure that you didn't remove any effects from the patches that you normally use. Because if you remove the an effect from a patch that you always use, the, the patch will have a missing pedal, a missing effect. The, don't remove any effect that you always use. That is why the first step that I have told you to check all of the effects that you have on your system. That is for us to make sure that you are not removing anything or if you remove anything, just make sure that you don't use it or you don't need it for your system. So yeah, that's it. So after the update is completed, we are now done. So what's next is I'm going to do a sound check and showcase some of the new pedals that we have added in our system. So that is it for this video. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more G1 XON related stuff. See you again guys next time. Peace.